This is the game line by line. It's a line drawing based puzzle platforming game. Let's begin by going to the main menu. As you can see, there are several options. Start game, continue game, level select and help. help. Let's go to help first. These are the help screens for the game. They show you how to play the game as well as the control scheme for the game. Now let's go to level select. Basically in the level select screen, you can select which stages you want to go to. As you can see, most of the numbers are crossed out because we haven't completed the stage before them yet. Uh, since we just started the game, only level 1 is accessible, so let's just go to that. The way you play this game is by drawing lines that your character can then interact with. As you can see, I'm now moving around and standing on a blue line. The orb you see here is an ink refill that refills the ink gauge shown in the top left corner of the screen. When you draw lines, the ink level decreases and when it is totally empty, you are no longer able to draw lines. When you fall off the stage, your character dies and the level is reset. So now let's just complete this level. Here we have the level complete screen which shows the score for the stage as well as a new high score medal which only appears when you get a new high score. There are several options, continue, try again and main menu. So let's just try again to see what other scores we can get. Notice here I'm using a lot more ink and my score is correspondingly lower and here I'm using less ink and my score is higher and I get a new high score medal. That's because the score is dependent on how much ink you use as well as how many imports you get. The control scheme for this game is using up, down, left, right to control the game and pressing R to restart. You can also use right click, space bar or 1, 2 and 3 to change color, so that's not available for this level. Finally, pressing P pauses the game as shown here. There are several options which you can see and also the high score for the stage is displayed in the top right corner of the screen. Okay, now I shall enter a cheat code to allow us to skip on to the future levels. Now we skip to the 6th level. You see here that we've gotten a green ink ball and the instruction pops up, teaching how to use it. Uh, green ink lines are basically bouncy, you bounce off them. Uh, but you, cannot, uh, you cannot just bounce vertically upwards, but to the right or to the left or so. All of this is dependent on the angle of the page, as well as the gradient of the lines. Now let's skip on to the trial stage where we get access to the red lines. As you can see by the instruction sheet here, red lines will repel you uh, depending on whether you're above, below, or in between two red lines. When you're above, below a red line, it repels you downwards. Let's see, there's a normal dropping speed, and this is a dropping speed when pushed by a red line. When you're below it, a red line repels you upwards, sorry, when you're above it, I mean. And when you're in between two red lines, since they repel you both upwards and downwards equally, you just float. So. How much you're repelled by depends on how long you stay within the red lines as well as your initial velocities as shown here. Okay, now let's just uh, continue on. Uh, this game has 22 levels in all, and when you finish completing all the levels, uh, something happens in that you get access to a new game mode. Okay, right now I'm entering a cheat that will allow us to simulate having skipped every single level having completed every single level. So let's just see what happens when that happens. Uh, now that we've completed every single level, uh, we can access the two new modes. One is uh, this hard mode, that you can uh, choose by clicking on this small figure here. Okay, hard mode is basically the same as normal mode, except that uh, you get uh, these enemies floating around, and when you touch them, your character dies. Uh, that's pretty much it for hard mode. Also, when you're playing hard mode, you can generate more or less enemies by pressing the plus and minus buttons. When you completed every single game in hard mode, it uh, gives you a new medal at the start screen, which is not shown here. Also, there are different classes of enemies, black, red, and grey, as well as a special hidden enemy. There's also another secret mode, which you can access by clicking here. This is survival mode. How survival mode works is that you basically try to last as long as you possibly can while these enemies float around. Every once in a while, a new enemy will appear and your score is then based on how long you survived. Notice here this is the complete level mode that I was talking about. You get this medal when you completed every single stage. An additional medal also appears when you completed every stage under hard mode as mentioned. So let's just uh, quickly look at that. This cheat uh, basically simulates completing every single game under hard mode. 
as you can see by the start screen, now we have two medals. One that represents having completed all levels, and one that represents having completed all levels under hard mode. A number of treats also exist within the game. Some that give you infinite ink, for example, which you'll see here. Some that let you skip back and forward levels, as well as one that gives you this uh, super saiyan flying power. And uh, that's pretty much it for this game.